Christ. Come on, open it. Open it up. Come on. I'm full up. What the hell are you talking about? We gotta unload and dump that rig and fast. Hey, hold now it. you move it, huh? Hold it, hold, hold it. nothing. I gotta deal with Cooper. Now clean it out, and you get one of those forklifts. Hey, look, there's no way. We're full up. Cooper ain't got the space right now. Move it. Hey, now hold on, you guys. Hold on. Come on! Listen! Listen, you dumb son of a bitch! There's an alarm out on that rig. Now you get Cooper in the horn now, and you tell him we gotta have storage space. You understand? Listen, Cooper ain't blowing my deal, is he? No, Cooper ain't blowing no deals. Come on, things, things are tight, that's all. Look, I'll pull the plates, cover the rig, and bury it here on the lot. Nice and safe. We ain't gonna make a buck with this shit sitting out there in the open. Couple of days, no sweat. Couple of days? Yeah, a couple of days, Cooper's working on a whole new thing. Believe me, it's cooking. Something yeah. big. Sure, sure. One whole square block and nothing to store it. Warehouse is up to your ass. Cooper's gonna move everything in there. Local stuff out of town, everything. Like Grand Central Station. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cooper's block's coming in next week, next month. The block, the block, the block, the block, the block's nothing but bullshit. Listen, you got the fat tongue? You tell him it's bullshit. You got the balls for that? Cooper's the man down here. Nobody says different. He runs Fifth Street just like always. Cooper says the block is going to go. It goes. It's a lock. No, these days, there's nothing locked. Nowhere. Not downtown. Not Fifth Street. Not even Cooper. Nothing. Look, you always got your dog. Cooper took good care of you. For yesterday's action don't count. Not anymore. All right. You bury that rig like you said. Huh? Three, four days, Cooper calls me in Denver. Everything is beautiful. Nothing but. Four days. Yeah. No more. Right. Come on. Look, God damn it. I like Cooper. Now you tell him the word is out. The old street boss is losing control. He don't deliver this this block of his. He's got nothing left. He blows it all. Fifth Street goes down the toilet, and he ain't careful. He goes with it. You tell him that. Bitch. I need an answer, you know. I got people waiting. What's the problem? Nothing. There's, there's no problem. It's just that I've, uh, I've been busy. I've been busy as hell. Oh, you're busy. Listen, buddy, I knew you when you pounded the beat. Don't you give me that busy horse shit. You understand that? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Coop. Uh, listen, these are the same addresses we were talking about, right? Yeah. Same addresses. I wrapped up the lower half of the block last week. What? Uh, I, uh, uh, I, I'm not ready. I figured, uh, uh, the block was taking you so long, Coop, that, uh, I, I, I figured, uh, you couldn't pull it off, you know? Uh, I'm gonna need a little more time. Now listen, Elias, get off the dime. I made promises, you got that? Now, we got to nail down the protection, me and you, and we got to nail it down now. Okay, okay, sure, but uh, uh, we'll have to have a talk. God damn it. No, it's no good for me. Yeah, the barbershop. Tomorrow. And yeah, that's all right. What? 
coop. Will you take it easy? Look, I, uh, I, I may need a little more time. Elias, no more waltzing around. Now that block goes through, my name's on it. Get up, I get cold. My God, it ain't even six o'clock, a new record. It's good for you. You barefoot cracker kids know about getting up early, right, George? We wore shoes. Yep. Once a week. Is that a fact? Maybe I'll take some time off soon. How'd you like to go someplace, get out of the city for a while? Yeah, I'd love to. Where are we gonna go? I don't know, maybe we'll go to Vegas. Just me and you, Jordan. Hey, Kino girl, what was my lucky number? 22. 22. I almost forgot. What? Happy birthday. Sun this morning, isn't it? Made for street merchants, just like ourselves, dreamers and chieftains, huh? Hey, how's the buying spirit today, Miss Cooper? How about something for the little lady? Perhaps a nice timepiece. I got jewels from the Far East here, huh? Doesn't suit your fancy. Well, how about something for yourself? Are you gonna give up, Chester? Oh, never, Mr. C. Never. Hey, wait a minute, a necklace. The lady doth protest without a neck piece. You are a tough nut to crack today, Mr. C. Never seen you this stuff before. Hey. I bet your patty probably needs some jockey shorts, doesn't he? Hey, I know what today needs. Today needs good luck pieces. You got your rabbit's foot, and here's your shamrock with pipe. Also, as a piece de resistance, here we have the combination good luck penny and medallion. They're talisman all. Hey, Mr. Cooper, go ahead, take your pick, because it's on the house today for a long time, friend. luck. Ah, I knew it. That's a fine choice, Lady Luck. A beautiful choice. Lady Luck, she's the best. If you treat her right now, you gotta always take care of Lady Luck. By the way, Mr. Cooper, you know what it's all about, don't you? That's the name of the game. Luck. Top of the day team, Mr. Cooper. See you later. Take care. Hey, Patty, top of the day. Hey, Patty, how about a pair of jockey shorts, huh? I'll give you jockey shorts. Get out of here. What are you doing here so early? Here, hold that. It'll be 800 degrees today. Goddamn locks. I'm gonna change these locks. You all right? I'm terrific. Yeah. Make yourself useful. Look at this place. I think I like getting up early every morning for this. I want my mother should watch me die a slave to a joint like this. You want something to eat, No. Every morning, you're up earlier, Coop. Maybe I should run out sleeping quarters. You and Sarah could sleep in the kitchen there. Yeah, one morning, you're gonna come down here, this whole place is gonna be gone. Bulldozed under, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm not like you, Coop. I don't need this neighborhood, this joint. And that's how fast I could sell this place I wanted to. I might just do it, too. What are you gonna do then? Take a cruise. A what? A cruise, a cruise, one of them boat things. You know, it's getting worse all the time. People selling out, moving out. I'm the parking lots. High rise and goddamn parking lots. You know, I sold last year, mom hadn't gotten sick. Yeah, and the year before that, the year before that. Oh, you think so, huh? That. You think I need any of this?
How'd you get in here? This isn't a hotel. Carl, give me a key. Next time, wait in the hall. All right, all right. Put the key on the desk. Jeez, what are you running? Some kind of bunny club here? Yeah, uh, Kansas City, uh, Diamond 78038. What's the story? Carl wants to talk to you. He wants to Book. talk to you. Booker, right how are you? Yeah, I got your message. How are you? No, there's no need to panic. No, don't send anything till I tell you to send it. Block isn't tied off yet. Well, then, God damn it, cancel it. It's that simple. You know, pay the cops a couple dollars. It'll be all right. Now, listen, you got uh, a shipment of 300. 300. All right, go and count them. I'll wait. Come on. All right, tonight. The people they got money says the Nazi don't win. Paulie's the contact. Get Paulie, he'll handle it. Look, I'm telling you what Carl says. He says the Nazi's going to sit down. He wants you to look to it. Yeah, Booker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you don't worry, I don't worry, everything's fine. You stay right on top of it. Yeah, okay. Why didn't Carl call me? I don't know. How the hell am I supposed to hey, know? Hey, Bobby. Now, lately you've been forgetting who you've been talking to. Carl would like to see you later about the block. Is that all right, Mr. Cooper? See, that's much better. Now get your ass out of here. How's the guinea? He's younger. Could be my ticket. Some ticket, huh? How many of them have I had? It ain't the same, is it, Coop? What? The guys. Just ain't the same no more. Faces. You can't tell who's who, you know? Yeah. I never was smart like you, Coop. Never could see down the path. Linda, she starts asking me, Paulie, what happens after a couple of years when somebody new comes along? And you know I can't answer her. So it starts me to thinking, maybe now I'm getting smart. I'm gonna get out, Coop. I'm just gonna sit back and relax and open a store some somewhere. It's a good idea, Paulie. Listen, I want Tanazi to sit down tonight. Why you, Coop? You don't do this. Well, I want to make sure they're worried. The last two you promised didn't go down. Now they don't forget. This time it's got to happen, boy. I ain't got it no more, Coop. I can't make no promises. You, uh, you want me to talk to Tanazi? Allergy. Since I was a kid. Yeah. Thanks, Coop. Tonazi. You remember me? Coop. Right. They say you got a left like a horse. Come on over here, we talk. Come on. I want you to sit down tonight. I, I don't lay down no more. No more. Come on, I owe them to Nazi. No, I, I don't owe them shit. Hey. Hey. Uh. 
a smoke. You got it. I quit. I won my last four. I mean, I bring them in, you know. They like to see a white boy beating up on spicks and niggas. Hell, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. But you sit down tonight, you understand? One last time, you understand that? Paulie's on the line. Sign this, will you, please? Now, listen, no more bail for this guy for six months. Okay, I'll tell him. Uh, meet, meet, Tuesday. Hey, Coop, you got to hear this one. Go ahead, Paul. Tell him he'll never get it. Hey, hey, you ready? Hey, there's this doctor. He's got a patient. He says, hey, I got some good news for you. I got some bad news. The uh, bad news first. I had to cut off your leg. But the good news. The good news is that a patient in the next bed wants to buy your slippers. Ah, oh, shit. You're first week. <laughs> Things ain't happening right, man. Jip has got a hot load of televisions, 200 of them. They got to be moved someplace safe and cool. Can you dig that? Oh, yeah, I can dig that. Now, you tell Jip to take it easy. He says, Jack, we can't wait. Now, maybe the white man's so-called block ain't happening. We'll go somewhere else. Plenty of brothers be needing our actions. Right on. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Mm. I brought your clean shirt for dinner tonight. Patty's, remember? Yeah. Why do you always whisper when you come in here? <laughs> I always whisper in this office. I see. Anything else? I need some money. Yeah. Man. Thanks. See you tonight. Tell Jip not to worry. He'll know about the block when uh, I let him know about the block. Fleet, I got you down on the books for over $300. Take it easy, huh? Come on, man. Right on. Uh, some guy over the bar wants to see you. So send him up. What do you think? I climb all them goddamn stairs if we come over here? He's sitting over there. He's taking up a booth, too. Oh, is he? What am I? A message service here? You want to see him? You come over to the bar. He said it was important. That's all I know.
now at the birthday party. Right? Right. All right, all right, now, listen. 19 years ago, a guy walks in. What a nice kid, skinny looking kid, body like a rain. Kid who couldn't find his way across the street. I was gonna take care of that kid, so the window and blow him away. Look at him now, huh? Fifth Street section like in his back pocket. Jingle, jingle, jingle. There goes the man with all the keys. Hey, tell him who named your keys. Come on, tell him. Come on, Patty. 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 Hey, live forever, this guy. The key man, Someone's got to figure. We got to figure in there. What kind of a gift do you get for a guy like this, huh? What kind of a gift? So? Put it someplace. I'm gonna put it someplace real prominent. Let's go. Carl wants right. to see you outside. <laughs> okay. You take care of it for me. Well, Listen, thanks a lot. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, what are you doing? What kind of a stupid thing is that to do? A dog? Hey, hey, Sit down here, Bobby. Sit down. <clears throat> now look. We have a little party here, you understand? Now, you want some cake, you ask for some cake. You'd be real polite. But you sit here now, and you don't move, and you eat it. You understand that? That was, uh... That's a terrific party. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Hey, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You want cake? Come get it. Happy birthday, Coop. Thanks, Harry. Hey, Coop. Carl? You losing weight? No. You look a lot thinner. That's smart. You gotta watch your weight. Where the hell's Bobby? He needs some cake. Listen, uh, don't give that piece of shit a key to my office. Yeah, what's with the liars? Talk to him tomorrow. Now, the block's okay. Nothing's wrong, Coop. Anything's wrong, tell me in front. Don't wait. You think I've got all day? Take us to the block. I thought I'd better take a look at what we're buying. What's happened, Carl? Smoke? No. You never check on me. He was checking, for Christ's sake. It's just a look, that's all. That's bullshit. All right. The people say, look, check the block. I say, what for? I know Cooper, I know the area. That's all I need to know. What have I got to see? A lot of years, Cooper says something, it goes, period. Right, Cooper? Uh, you asking or telling? I'm telling. They don't want to hear nothing. You can't talk anymore. All they want is yes, no, right away. Look, it takes time to make a deal. You gotta honor with the guy. A few laughs, a couple drinks, a couple ladies. It takes time and it takes patience. Like, I don't know, huh? They don't want to hear that, these new guys. Young guys. Razor cuts, wide ties, goddamn bookkeepers. And lawyers. What the hell do they know about the streets? Good. <laughs> How big? 400,000 square feet. 19 addresses, free and clear. Christ almighty, it's bigger than I thought. Electrical. Electricity and water still work. It's all here, group. They couldn't ask for any better than this. You see, this they understand. Everything in one place, on ice. Simple. Good business, that's what it is. Consolidate. The old control, right? I'm gonna need 15, 20 guys to run it. You need them, you got them. 
coming down hard, Carlin. You don't want to know, Coop. Don't ask. Two days I got this headache. Lots of changes. Things, they... They just aren't so easy. Like friendships. They just don't go so strong anymore, you know? So, where can we drop you? I got things in the neighborhood. Tomorrow. The block's a beauty, Coop. A beauty. Baby, how's your sex life? You're still on my list, Coop. Number one, I hope. He's a new boy out of Tulsa. Got into some heat. People like him. A real hustler. They want us to take him in for a while, let things cool down. They want you to find a spot for him, troubleshoot or something. Maybe you take some time to him around, huh? Hey, Bobby. Get Turner. Got a real good sense of humor in the new boy. Might liven up the scenery. This is Mr. Cooper. Everyone tells me about the key man. I'm real pleased to meet you. Oh, man, I could learn from you. Things work out like Mr. Carl said, you and me be in class together. Nice student teacher thing. Right tight. Hell, there you are, Mr. Cooper. Up there with the grades. Babe Ruth, Marciana, John L. Sullivan, and key man. Who's the greatest? I don't know, but they're all dead except one. How old are you, Tom? Old enough to know better. Young enough to do it again. Hell, I got plenty of time. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for another one of those? Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Goomba, goomba. There they are. Fred and Ginger. You know you jealous guys always get in the middle? Give me half a chance, I'll pop the question before you get around to it. Patty and Sarah just walking down the aisle. Tom, Tom, sit down. Tom, Tom, sit down there. Poor Coop. It's nice. You look good. Thanks. You must be tired. No, no, I'm just hungry. Listen, you just sit here, you hold the lady's hand, and you talk nice and quiet. What's with the voice? I blew it at your party. Uh. Also got a little drunk, but I'm all right now. All right. Now, listen. I don't exist. Make like I'm not even here. I disappear. She loves the clock. You do, huh? What are we gonna do with it? We'll find a place for it. On the roof. Now, what the hell is this? Hey, Sarah, you don't have to go and get me anything. Come on. Well, come on, open it. Hey, what are you doing? Don't do that. I'll do that. You just sit down there. No, I want to do it. You take care of the steaks. Don't put salt in there. It's got enough salt. Is that the watch? <laughs> Where'd you find it? Never mind. I found it. Got the second hand fixed. Hasn't worked for years. That's nice. Georgia, that's, that's nice. I bought this with my first dough from the carney. 28 bucks. 28 bucks. Been to places you rubes never even heard of. 
Been around the U.S. ten times, never missed a tick. Boy, it's a cheap old old junk. We try to kid keys. Blue moon. Oak Sparrow, Hazelton, Copperopolis. <laughs> Bingo, Nebraska. Now, Bingo, Nebraska rained for six days, and the midway was so muddy that the fat lady almost drowned. <laughs> no, that's the truth. I'm not shitting you. She got stuck in the mud. <laughs> what are you telling us that for? But it's still old junk. Hey, Tip. <whistles> Come on, man. I want to talk to you. you want to see a little lady dance? You want to see a gorilla bend genuine steel bars? You want to talk to the wild man from Borneo? I can take you there, tenth of a dollar. I want to see the little lady dance. That lady can do things you never uh, thought possible. Give him a little shimmy. Come on, hit him with a shimmy. Thank you, French Aunt Mimi. Give him a little shake. Shake it till I break it. A little bump. <laughs> you see this? All right, that's it, that's it. There's plenty more where that came from. How much? How much? How much, he asked? How much you got? Two bets. Two bets. He's a stiff. Show's over. Oh, Sarah, come on. I mean nothing with the two beds. <laughs> <She's in. laughs> now, would you get that cool bucket of steaks burning all the place? The sow's going limp. Well, I'm going limp. Sorry, Coop. I got to talk to you. Hello, oh, Sarah. Hi, Polly. Hi, Patty. Hey, how you doing? Come on. I'll get you a beer. He didn't do it. Silly son of a bitch wouldn't sit down. What control do I got? Tell me that. I don't own these guys. I was gonna get out. Silly son of a bitch. Well, I've had to win. Couldn't sit down. Why has he got to do that? I didn't ask for this. I mean, I'm going to open a store. My kid. My kid's starting to shave. Coop, you got to talk to them. They always listen to you. Everybody knows that. Ten, fifteen years. And I'm telling you, the tears are for nothing. No one's gonna touch you. No one's gonna bother you. You take a trip, catch the sun. You get back into town, everything's blown over. What kind of store are you gonna open? I was thinking about sporting goods. Balls and mitts and bats and stuff. Maybe even fishing tackle and bait. Maybe I'll come up and get some stuff from you. Take care. Thanks, Cooper. Talk, Elias? Sure, Coop. What's the price? Depends. What was the figure we were talking about? 8,500. You're short. Uh, there must have been some misunderstanding. It was the same figure two weeks ago, friend. Well, the election's coming up. The, the department is shaky. And some unnervous people, a lot of flack. 85 won't be enough. Not for something this big. I might be able to squeeze five more out. Coop, you want things done right, done quiet. We'll need at least uh, another 15. 15, no chance. None. Try 7,500. Well, could 
split it out at ten, maybe. Ten, no more. Maybe, just maybe. You, uh, you got the muscle to approve any extra? Now, what does that mean? Nothing. There's some talk going around. Who? Nobody. It's just some talk. Don't you worry about my muscle. When do I get that answer? Next week. Okay? I'll let you know next week. Too late. I'll be with my people over the weekend. You still got that cabin? Yeah. I'll be staying at Stinson's. It's not far from you. Come to the lodge on Saturday, Bob New. I'll have your answer. That's, of course, if you can come up with the extra ten. Take care of yourself, Coop. And, uh, I'll see you Saturday, maybe. You'll see me Saturday. Hey, you think it'd help if I got me one of them tape recorders? You got a lot of questions. I'm gonna work on my diction. Wow. Look at all that bread. Let's break out in purple snow and all that. Hey. What do you think? Mr. Carl sent it to a guy. Gave me a swell deal on it. Great piece for deer hunting. You want to play with that thing? Play with it outside? Well, no offense. It's a birthday gift from a brother, sort of a surprise. There they are. The keys. How'd you feel carry a piece of the city around with you? Fine, fine. Put them down. I just wanted to get a feeling. I work a lot out of that uh, ESP stuff, uh, vibrations and all. Close the door after you. Funny. You know, you're smaller than I thought. I picture sort of an older, bigger guy. What else you think? Oh, <laughs> lots of things are just guesswork. Like the way you look. You sure are a lot shorter. But things came easy. People talk. Oh, what? Oh, how you don't talk much. Hey, maybe that's another thing I should learn. To be quiet. See, you're getting smarter already. No good. I'm a born country talker. Well, there you have it. Anything you want to know about me? Yeah, wait here. Huh? Wait here. Pretty soon a bus will come along. Get on it. Be real polite. Take a ride. Hey, Coop. You got a suit? No, not today. Listen, let's lose the cowboy, huh? Christ, he never shuts up. I got him, you got him. He's harmless. Just keep him busy. Buy him a horse. If you want to keep healthy, you got to keep in shape. How many laps did I do today, Bobby? Twenty-five, Carl. You hear that? Twenty-five. Every lap adds a minute to my life. Down again. Not much. Down is down, Coop. Shrinking all the time. It'll go up. Yeah, I keep saying that. Two, three years now. This goddamn city is dying all over. It's drying up. Like a corpse. Sections are choking to death. Bobby, get the car ready. Hey, you want to hear some funny things? Are you really going to get a kick out of this? You know who sit down any time? Guarantee. A fighter. The Nazi, that's who. His legs, they got snapped. Hey, look at that shine. Did you ever have a ring like that? You know how I got this one? On this, you're gonna have to think real hard. There's another friend of yours, he's about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, you got any ideas? You give up? 
Let me tell you, this guy, he ain't gonna sit down or stand up ever. Matter of fact, he's laying down right now. He's, uh, very still. He's, uh, laying down in a car in a parking lot over here. Quiet. Very, very quiet. Good night, Paulie. <coughs> Son of a bitch, I should have taught his... Get old. Get slow. She'll put him away fast. Quick. Slow. Do your face. No, man. Some things you gotta see, they happen. Call me Turner. Is uh is Mr. Cooper in? We saw the body of Sir, but Mr. Carl wants to see you at your office. Mm hmm. Why didn't he call me? Well, Mr. Carl wanted me to come by and pick you up, so uh look at you split on over here. Wait in the hall. Cooper. You got a fine daddy there. Yes, ma'am. Quite a man. Well, I never thought I'd get me a job so quick. Jobs are hard to come by. Always have been for me. Yeah, Mr. Carl, was sure generous. Let me drive for him. Oh, but hell, you're the man I ought to thank, Mr. Cooper. And I sure do. Yes, sir. You must know Bobby Boy up real good. What you might call uh, incapacitated. You should have let me done it for you. I would have made it permanent. You know, you're a lot like my old man. Quiet. But he knew things. That old man, yes sir, you, you can see it in his eyes. He died a couple of years ago. Yeah, I wish you could see me now. You two to hit it just, just right. Yeah. yeah, he'd look at me and he'd say, Sonny, you're a Cadillac cowboy. <laughs> now all I've got to do is give me that Cadillac. Safe and sound.
Not a bathroom in the whole damn building. You got a heat in here, sir? Yeah, right there. Pick you up and bring you over here. Hungry? No. You have to be quick and personal. I like your style, though, Turner. Oh, man, you're wild. You get some strange ideas, but I like them. I really like them. Crazy. Real old time. Sideshow, freak out, carny idea. Wild carny man. That's what you are. I bet you could tell stories. How about them uh, coochie dances? You know, ones with little tassels on their nips. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, one thin dime. Watch them shake it, watch them break it. Damn, I bet you could tell some stories, Mr. Cooper. You bet I could. Well, I bet split. I'll wait downstairs for you. Oh, uh, I hope all is well, Mr. Cooper. I mean, if you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate. I really mean that. Try for less, but they'll go for it. It was a sweat, but I pulled it out. You get that answer this weekend. I'll get it. You better. Bobby's in the hospital. That was a mistake. Polly's a pass, done. Right. You see, the only worry is the pressure. You're like a computer, and we can't afford to have it break down. Have a good weekend.
What's happening? The business is off. No people, no faces. Things change. No blood. Things change. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm tired, you know. I can't think straight. We'll be stranded out here and I'll freeze to death. Just for a minute. It's good for the bus. Oh. Row away. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're wet. <laughs> What's happened? They're getting bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Could you see Patty Duck walking along here with that big gun of his? <laughs> hey, you ever hear these pine cones crackle at a fireplace? Yeah, every Friday night. Ours are real big Georgia pine cones. My boyfriend and I used to go out at night and fill up a basket with him. My pa would belt me good where I got home. Should you should be picking pine cones with that guy. <laughs> yeah. You know what these woods do you? <laughs> Thank you. 
Whatever it was, he's long gone. Well, who do you think it was? Just a bum, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. These locks you could pick with a toothpick. Get me a beer, will you? Some new locks. Can't wait. You uh, start dinner. I'll be right back. Why'd you buy that? You gonna eat? I'm gonna take a shower first. I can wait. I shouldn't have brought you up here. Why, don't I belong here? You belong here. This is business. It's not fun time. I know. I'm a big girl. Attention. I'll make the adjustment immediately. You're very welcome. May I help you? Yeah, I have an appointment with a guest of yours, Mr. O'Neill. I beg your pardon. Elias O'Neill. It doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, no O'Neill. He's here. 
Are you sure he's registered at the Stinson Lodge? Yeah. Karen, do you remember an O'Neill? No, I don't believe so. Broad shoulder, gray hair, about 50. Uh, he came up with a group from the city. Maybe he's not registered. Everybody registered. No Mr. O'Neill and no group. Seems to be some misunderstanding. I'm sorry. You got a phone? Honey, you got a phone? Oh, yes, yeah, over there, sir. Yeah, this is Cooper. Any messages? Anything from Elias O'Neill? Nice surprise me being up here, huh? Yeah, quite a surprise. Great place you have here. Look at that sky. Fresh air. I don't mean to intrude you being alone up here with your lady and all, but uh, you have to buy yourself a telephone. For what? Well, Mr. Carl said I should come on up here. You'd have an answer from some guy. Mr. Carl wants a word. You tracked up my carpet. You collect 38s? Well, has them strange ideas again. Mr. Carr said, come up. So I'm up. I get that answer tomorrow, and I'll tell Mr. Carl. Well, I'll be around. I guess, uh, everybody's waiting for this answer. Might lead to a nice job for me. I'll be right back. I'll go with you. I don't want to stay here by myself. I said I'll be right back. No, I want to know what they want. Well, answer me. Would you answer me? Tell me what they want. Come on, you can't just drive off. Talk to me, Coop. All right, all right, all right, I won't go. Jesus, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. 
I'm sorry, Jesus, I'm sorry. They're coming down hard, the pressure's on. They want to take the work from me. Without the work, I'm nothing. What else is there? I'll never believe you, Cole. Sunday. I'll give him one more day, then we'll go home. Okay, we'll go home. Stenson's. Uh, yeah, you have uh, Mr. O'Neill there, please. Well, see if you checked in early this morning, please. Well, can you see if there's a reservation for uh, tonight? O'Neill. Morning. Morning. Come on, we gotta get back soon. Okay, I'll be there in a Happy Sunday. Hope you didn't mind me walking in, but half the business talk, I want to do some hunting. Uh, wait a minute. No trouble. Just the uh, answer on the block. No trouble. Uh -uh. Game's over. Outside. Wait a minute. The message, man. Just give me the message.
Elias doesn't come through, you take me out. That's the word. Oh! Right? People die. Not this one. If you'll kill anybody, Cooper. I'll keep me in. Well, shoot, old man. Or should I beg? Here. Yeah. I'm down on my knees. Please, Mr. Cooper, don't kill me. Please, Mr. Cooper, don't kill me. Please, Mr. Cooper, please. Dude! Sally, get back! Get in the house! He's here! Go on, get inside! Get inside! Oh, Jesus Christ! No. no. Sir, Sir, Jesus, don't die on me. Oh, Christ. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Sarah. Sarah, can you hear me? Sarah. You keep breathing, but I'll get someone. Much, but I couldn't find anything better. You all right? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Business done? We're gonna get our bellies in the sun. Big sweet. Make like a real vacation. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Kino girl returns and knock him dead. Crazy. I know. Listen, get some sleep. I don't want you too tired when we get up there. I see you in uh, an hour. Okay. Let's have a talk. How about some coffee? Where were you? Uh, out of town. Out at the lodge. It was a last minute change in plans. I had no way to reach you. Could have left a message. Well, I... I didn't think I was in a hurry. So, uh... How was your trip? I think I'm gonna start to uh, move stuff into the block. No. The deal is off. You see, my people don't feel the payoff is worth the risks. Not now, anyway. Maybe in a month or two. A month, my ass! Oh, you set me up, you son of a bitch. You set me up. You knew they wouldn't go for it. What am I gonna tell Carl? Huh? He, uh... He knows. I told him. Out. 
Christ knows I wanted it to work out. I even... Son of a bitch. I've got about three minutes. Will you be up tonight? Sure, I'll be up tonight. You tell Leone uh, I'll be up around 8 o'clock and tell him the whole is a uh, good table. Okay. I love you, Coop. Come on, I hate goodbyes. I'll see you tonight. Hold me for a second. Take care. driver, do you? Cooper. I think you're looking for the wrong guy. Cheers, key man. said something about he might check out. My ass, you got a number out on me. What the hell are you talking about? I just talked to Elias. 
Don't you lie to me. Don't play dumb with me. You're setting me up. You better call him off or I'll blow you away. Have you gone nuts? If you got Turner out after me, now you call him off, you call him off now. He's gone. Packed and gone. Come on, we can't talk in here. Come on, outside. I don't move. I don't move from here. I don't move from Fifth. I don't move from anywhere. Who says move? What's with you? I don't read you, Carl. I don't read you. You don't call anymore. Never around. Pal, you're talking crazy. Pal, what you call me pal. You took Paulie out, but I ain't Paulie. I don't stand and wait and take it. Goop, a minute. Listen. You're off. You're way off. Nobody's doing anything. I swear the block will go. The people want it. Forget it, Lies. He's small time. He got chicken. The block is too big for him, so the people go right to City Hall. A good idea like the block doesn't die, period. I don't die either, Carl. I know that. The people know that. Just hang tight. The block's your baby. It'll happen. Don't jump, Coop. Think. Think. Huh? I gotta go. New guys, we're talking money. Let's meet later for drinks, say 10 o'clock at Murphy's, okay? You tell them I don't move. Come on, relax. You look tired. Lay down for a while. We all been working too hard. We can't lose the key man. I'll see you later. Mr. Cooper. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Oh. Cooper. God damn, I'm sorry. You lost control. Stop for the AM, Mr. C. 
Ah, the light of day, Mr. Cooper, the sun, devil's about the street. Hey, what'll suit your fancy? I know, I'll get an argument. I get a key man dialogue, always bargaining, wheeling and dealing, dealing and wheeling. Stop it at 18, Mr. Cooper. See you later. Hey, you got a parking permit to camp on my doorstep like that? Where you been? Sarah's been worried sick. She's been trying to reach her all night long. Must have woke me up four or five times calling. You know, Coop, you know what's out you're gonna lose her. Let me tell you, that's one fine woman. I got a nose for good people. <laughs> 